So, a, a horse named Keanu. Mm, mm-hmm. Willem Dafoe plays a farmer called Farmer Animals. Farmer Animals. And Farmer Animals! <laughs> and welcome to my farm! <laughs> he says that at the camera, um, directly at the camera with his head not moving at all. And that's how the movie starts. It's really close up. In HD, you can see every pore on his face. He's sweating profusely, and he's red. Where he's, like, red-faced, where he's just screaming at, I'm Farmer Animals, and welcome to my farm! <laughs> the, uh, wow. The camera pulls back from it, so it's like a big reveal. The camera pulls back and shows the world's biggest farm. It's got cows. It's got sheep. It has got water slides. Whoa. Water slides with just ducks and chickens on rubber pool floats just going around. It's like the most awesome farm in the world. Um, Every year, farmer animals select one of his animals to take part in the America's Best Animal Show. Sounds good. Hell yeah. Like uh, Charlotte's Web, kind of? Like the pig uh, contest with Wilbur? Kind of like that, yeah. Mm. But far better. Okay. He picks, like, his most amazing animal. Like, the year before, he had a chimpanzee, which doesn't even belong on a farm. So he won a trophy for that. The year year before, he had a rooster that went to space. A what duck? A rooster. Oh, rooster. It went to space. Sounds great. So chimpanzee just won the contest on the farm, but the rooster went into space. Yeah, the rooster went into space, and how do you top that? You have a chimpanzee, because they are funny. <laughs> they are in a lot of good comedy shows. Yeah. and Link, this Wild Link was a good show. Yeah, This yeah. was the one that did the PG Tips ads in the UK, so this was a good chimp. Um, uh-huh. How is he going to top it? How am I going to top it this year? I don't know. <laughs> a horse gives birth on Christmas Eve, and it's Keanu Reeves. Just a human man. Just it's a, it's it's Keanu Reeves naked on all fours, and Willem Dafoe looks and says, "It's a, it's the best horse I ever saw." <laughs> it's not a baby. It's not a horse. <laughs> Man, it's just the a full-grown, middle-aged it's, man. It's Keanu Reeves. Mm. Um, obviously not Keanu Reeves, the Keanu Reeves. It's the it's a horse played by Keanu Reeves. He's on all fours. He's eating grass. He's na- he's bollock naked. I might give him some underpants <laughs> just to be tasteful for the kids. Sure. <laughs> it's eating grass, and Willem Dafoe points it and says, "You will be my best animal." And then he looks directly at the camera and goes, <laughs> He's wagging his tongue and shaking his finger and going, Hey kids, wanna die? <laughs> like that. And that carries on for about 15 minutes and the scene very slowly fades to black. So slow that you don't even know it's doing it until the scene's like over. So what do you think of that for the first scene? <laughs> Well, anytime you ask someone if they want to die, it's uh, it's it's gold. I mean, that's the best question ever, isn't it? Well, I could think... just say no usually. Right? <laughs> I I want this film to be remembered. Um, you still you brought up Babe. No, you brought up Charlotte's Web. But let's talk about Babe. Mm. That had the, good too. the famous line, you know, that'll do, pig. Classic. Oh sure, that'll do. I, uh, yeah, Jack uh, Jack Bauer's dad said that. In the Goonies, you had that famous line, "Truffle Shuffle." Mm. I oh, you sure, sure. You know, we we grew up watching these films. Yes, and and they, they... imprinted themselves on our memories as children. Mm-hmm. So the new generation, you know, I've got a, a child in this house. So I want something for him to remember and talk about. Uh, mm-hmm. So I think that moment when the kids were lined up watching the next, the next Disney film, <laughs> that moment. Is it a Disney film? Yeah, it's a kids film. 
that moment <laughs> when the orc faced man looked at the camera and said, Hey, kids, wanna die? <laughs> In 3D, and at that moment, like, using CGI, his eyes, like, pop out. <laughs> One huge eye pops out of the out of William Dafoe's forehead. It comes Whoa. out in 3D, like the eye of Sauron, and just looks over the crown and goes, Hey, kids! What a day! <laughs> and then, it is pretty intimidating. Yeah. yeah. And then Willem Dafoe opens his mouth, and fingers... So other human fingers come out of his mouth and, like, grab the side of his cheek and widen it really, like, hugely wide, um, covering the whole screen. So it's just this huge mouth. And then Willem Dafoe's head, using stop motion, like claymation, because it's creepier, like Peter Gabriel's uh, music video for Sledgehammer, um, one of those of Willem Dafoe, like, come up from the esophagus and goes, Hey, kids! What a die screaming! <laughs> wow, that would be, uh, wouldn't it? That would be so that. That so much would, of that. it absolutely would. Yeah, so a whole to... lot of that. <laughs> He's just talking to the audience. He's breaking the fourth wall. At that point, the screen goes black. Um, because the kids at this point, I assume, will be, like, applauding at the special effects. <laughs> um, so for about, I, I want to give them ten minutes for the kids to just settle uh, over what they've seen. So for ten minutes, the screen will be completely black, and there'll just be the, the, the faint sound of bells tolling in the distance. Whoa. Wow. Just to give the kids some breathing room, um, because of what they've seen. I mean, they've just seen... A, Willem Dafoe dressed as a farmer. B, Keanu Reeves in his underpants. C, a stop-motion head asking them if they want to die screaming. <laughs> so, so that's three awesome things. That's too much for a child's mind. That's like caffeine for the brain. It's going to take some time to process. Yeah, you got to yeah. let them rest. So anyway, the, yeah. bells, the bells get louder and louder and louder and louder and start to be accompanied by the sounds of a baby crying. And then the screen just flashes white, fades from white, and it's back at the farm. And Willem Dafoe is just to toiling in the fields, just with a, a, a hoe, the actual garden implement, not what rappers call women. He's hoeing in the field, just going, I'm hoeing in the field because I'm a farmer, don't forget. Um, the horse is in the background, uh, Keanu Reeves just like stomping in the mud. Uh, in his underpants, just stomping around. And he, the camera, like, focuses on him and he just looks at the camera and goes, Oh, And then he just goes back to stomping in the mud. At this point, the rival farmer, the bad farmer, Sludgeworth Q Capitalism. That's his name? Yeah. Played it's by, a him, right? It's a him. It's played by Danny DeVito. I was hoping so. Damn right. He's got a mm. big cigar, like a giant cigar that needs to be propped up by, uh, with a Pablo, um, no, 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 a Salvador Dali-esque crutch. Um, <laughs> it's just propping up the cigar and that's being held by one of the kids who was in that fucked up movie Gummo. Uh, he's holding the, the cigar up like that and he just waddles in and goes, Hey! <laughs> Willem Dafoe! He stopped calling him Farmer Animals. <laughs> I'm Sludgeworth the farmer. I'm an evil capitalist. And I, I like joiking off in a pile of money. And I'm gonna win the best animal of America contest this year. With my animal, feast your eyes. And Willem Dafoe is confident. He holds onto his britches and says, well, I don't think you're gonna beat my animal. They're so abrasive, both of them. Just a gravelly, angry, always, always angry. They're acting. Duo of... they're, yeah, they're it's, acting. It's, in, it's called passion. When you're, when you're a Hollywood actor and you're angry, loud, obnoxious, you break things, you hit women, it's called passion. Yeah, you're an artist. You're an artist. You care Trust about yourself. your work. You're just, you mm. care so much about the fans, and that's why you killed that person. So, 
Willem Dafoe yes. says, you know, I don't think you'll beat me. I got a horse named Keanu. And Keanu looks up and goes, oh. <laughs> and then Danny DeVito goes, yeah, well, take a look at what I got. A pig named Vin Diesel. <laughs> and Vin Diesel comes in in his under in a G string, I think. Oh. Crawling on all fours, and he looks at the camera and goes, I'm kind. What is wrong with Keanu and Vin? These are men who can talk with words normally. Not when they're playing animals. They just say, well, it's like Keanu's like a Pokemon who just says what type he is. He just says horse, right? No, sometimes he goes, <laughs> and Vin Diesel just says, oink oink. He goes, because uh, that's how Vin Diesel acts. He is kind of Marvel Every now and then he might go, uh, Riddick, Riddick, uh, Riddick. I could have sworn I've heard him be like, uh, now's the time to go get it done, or something yeah. like that. Yeah, wanna, wanna drive? Does uh, he say that? Don't know who he was fucking with. <laughs> <laughs> I got yeah. And then Willem Dafoe goes, that's not very impressive. And, and Danny DeVito says, yeah, well, look what else he can do. And at that point, <laughs> Vin Diesel gets, like, rears up on his hind legs. And by that, oh, he was on all fours at this time? He was on all, they're both on all fours, him oh. and Keanu. They're yeah. horses, Jonathan. Horses Come on. I'm Let, sorry. We've got to make this believable. we got to keep this within the they're... realm of believability. I apologize. I'm sorry. It, okay. would, it would shatter the illusion for the kids if they were just walking around as bipeds. So anyway, <laughs> Vin Diesel well, really is... I, I, You know, and for another thing, I, I can't believe that you would think that actors of the caliber of Keanu Reeves and Vin Diesel wouldn't insist that this role be played on all fours. Yeah. Oh. But I, they're not even getting allowed to... All right, yeah, sure. They'd be, when I spoke to Vin Diesel on the phone, he said, well, I'll be doing this on all fours. <laughs> and I went, of course you will, love. So anyway, um, at, at Sludgeworth's beckoning, Vin Diesel rears up on his hind legs, which means he's just kind of on his knees, and starts rubbing his chest. Like, he, he falls, he like leans backward, and he's rubbing his chest up and down with his eyes closed and his head rolled back. Just, <laughs> like uh, Christina Aguilera in that dirty video. <laughs> and, and then two fine, thin sprays of milk jets um. from his nipples. Mm. And Danny DeVito rubs his hands and says, You see that white gold? <laughs> That's normally what cows do. And I got a pig that does it. And Willem Dafoe goes, Ha 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 ha! You think that's impressive? Look what my horse can do! <laughs> he, he bounds over to where Keanu Reeves is. Gets on his back. So Keanu Reeves is on all fours. Willem Dafoe is, like, riding him, legs straddling him, and goes, Do your thing, a horse named Keanu! At that point, Keanu Reeves gets a massive erection. It's so, oh. it's so big, his penis hits the dirt, the ground, sticks in it, but it keeps oh. on growing, so it's like a big leg stick stilt. And like a pole just lifts Keanu and um, Willem Dafoe up into the air. And it, it's pixelated, it's hurt to... out, so the kids can still watch. It lifts oh, I thought the underwear the was just stretching like the Incredible Hulk. No, <laughs> no, no it, it, at this point his pants are gone, we don't explain where they went. Uh, oh, okay. But we pixelate it is like anus and his penis and testicles. So, so you wouldn't get grossed out. So it's still it's tasteful. Kids safe from yeah. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to distribute porn to minors. I just want them to know what they're seeing. <laughs> and they're, but not details. Yeah, not we'll, we'll, we'll look at the camera and say, um, just to be sure, that is his penis. <laughs> just so that the kids know. Um, so anyway, the penis is lifting them both up. It's just growing out, like straight out and down, and like rigid, long, consistent. 
pole, like a bean pole. And is it, it just it expanding in width too, or is it just very long and skinny? It's just long and, and respectively thin. And mm. it lifts them both up while um, Willem Dafoe takes off his cowboy hat and goes, Yeah! <laughs> And it goes upwards and upwards and upwards out of the Earth's atmosphere, while Willem Def- um, sorry, while Sludgeworth is looking up and he like spits out his cigar and goes, "Well, I never." And then looks <laughs> He's at the camera. With it. Yeah, and he looks at the camera and says, um, "I also know it's his penis." <laughs> <laughs> Danny DeVito. Yeah. With a giant cigar. Yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty, it's a pretty gay movie. It's a pretty. Man and younger, more attractive, naked other man being. We're not trying of... to be political here. It, um, it, it just get, there's a lot of. Uh, it feels like there's some stuff. Are you worried that there the would be stuff. issues with families and so forth, not you know being interested or even protesting in some way a film that's so focused on uh, male on male on male on male action? <laughs> I'm not worried about it. It's pretty subtle. Like I said, it's not. I mean, I'm not politicizing yeah. this film at all because that's got no place in a kids' film. So anyway, Willem Dafoe winks at the camera and says, "Don't forget to vote Democrat." And <laughs> as Keanu and Willem bust through Earth's atmosphere and head toward the sun um, at a rapid pace, it gets the sun. That's yeah, dangerous. It gets hotter and hotter. And then Willem Dafoe says, "Time to say hello to the sun." Oh, Democrat. Um, it, he starts catching fire. Willem Dafoe catches on fire, as does Keanu. Willem Dafoe looks at the uh, camera again as the his flesh is just melting at this point. The flesh is melting oh. off the bone. And his eyes burst. And his tongue, like, is this huge fiery lash. And he just looks at the camera and says, Hey, kids! I'm skull-fuck your mothers in hell! And then he burns up to ash and it's nothing. And then um, Danny DeVito, like, there's, it's, it fades to black, and then a text comes up that says 15 years later, and it's focused on Danny DeVito on a podium saying, And I honor my friend, who truly did have the best animal of all time, farmer animals. And puts a medal, uh, like a rosette. That dog's annoying as fuck. She screwed up your podcast idea. Yeah. Sorry about that. Um, actually, I mean, the audience is full of dogs. <laughs> Sorry, and I blessed with my dog. The, the dogs are clapping, but um, as, as uh, Danny DeVito pins a rosette onto the chest of Willem Dafoe, and the audience full of dogs applauds and claps and barks, and then the credits roll um, while playing um, Stars and Stripes. <laughs> Sorry about my dog. That's right. They they gave the 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 atmosphere, the background noise for the dog audience. 